Oh, hi, everyone. I didn't see you come in. Welcome to Kato's Corners here at Game Guys. I am Sun Coach Kato. <sighs> the frog is still making his way out of my throat, so uh, I'm still in ASMR mode. However, I wanted to take a little bit of time in today's episode to go over a nice little farming route for some runes. Now, many of you might already be aware of this little area. These little dudes drop like over a thousand runes per, and if you pop a gold-pickled foot, they'll drop even more than that. <coughs> you just run around here, you got these guys. Now I realize that at this stage we're gonna get ready into some pretty intense boss fights. Level 57, I got 35 Vigor. I had to sacrifice some defensive points so I can wield the uh, Moon Veil. But look how, it's all, it's all scaly. I just love the design of the blade. Mm. Sun Coach Kato confirmed scaly because he uses Moon Veil. Yeah. Is what a bitch would say. <coughs> Anyways, getting on Torn would probably be a bit faster. You got more dudes up here. And it's, you want to get to, like, this rune and this area. Just kind of run around this area here. You got these little dudes that'll drop over a thousand <clears throat> per. But, yeah, good farming spot. But now I am going to get an armor set. Wait, never mind. Yeah, I already, I already got the armor set. Pardon me. I think it's time to engage in the festivities. Let's go. <clears throat> we are now about to fulfill the first requirement to unlocking the Shadows of the Erdtree DLC. Attending the Radon Festival and defeating Scar Star Scourge Radon. This is a requirement to access the Shadow Realm. So... <clears throat> It's also a mandatory fight to progress in the base game anyways. I believe so. Wait, do we need to fight Star Scourge for Dawn? Actually, I don't think you need to fight him to beat the base game. Yeah, because you just you just got to get the medallions to the Altus Plateau. I guess this is technically a side thing. Never thought of it that way. But I mean, come on. Who plays Elder Arena and doesn't fight Radon? You got to fight Radon. They might as well just make it a requirement. <clears throat> Alright, let's go let's go hang with the boys. Go into the yard. This is the festival yard. <clears throat> Greetings, ma'am. Well, uh I, I bowed to you as well. Yeah. Common courtesy can get you very far. It's the wolf man. <clears throat> Up. I must in peace. Hey, yes. You must have heard by now, right? Right. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight Radon. This is gonna be great. Um, Greetings. Everyone's favorite character. Alexander Warrior Jar. What's up, my guy? <clears throat> Alright, we got the wolf buddy, we got the jar man, we've got this polite young lady. We've got Diet Onion Man. Ironically not on a diet. This guy? Okay. Yo, Grandpa Wilkins, we gonna get the shit on the road or what? <clears throat> Ready as I'll ever be. See, he's just having a snack. <clears throat> you know, he needs his protein. Like a dog. Yeah, I think we need to put him out of his misery. Here we go! <clears throat> Oh. Okay, now we can begin. Oh, we're about to about to throw down with Radon. Ah, uh, that doesn't rhyme. I thought it was going to rhyme, but then it didn't. This is a most excellent time to be a tarnished. We're attending the festival. The festival. It's time to attend the festival. <clears throat> but did I pack my Lunchables? Nah, those are for casuals. I just want to tell 
all my all the faithful viewers here at Game Guys, especially those who are tuning in at Kato's Corners. Thank you, and let's get on with it. <clears throat> oh, I thought that was gonna block it. Anyways, we are summoning everyone. Woo! Alright guys, come on, let's go. Woo. Okay, yeah, I got those guys. Yeah, Alexander Warrior Jar! Alright. Ooh, I need to heal. I need some... Yo, Patches is here! Nice. Patches is in the fight! Yes, okay, fellas. I'll tank. I'll tank for the raid. I will tank for this raid. Wait, Patches died already? Dude! Come on, Patches. I expected better from you. Wow, we are just really going to town on the Star Scourge bro here. Okay, so, uh, we are just running a train on Radon. Holy shit. Oh, I, I forgot to summon someone. All right, this is when the fight gets for real. Here you go. Okay, he's not going to shoot the purple orbs right away. We, we got some hits. Owie. Okay, I got the owies. I like to thank my sponsors. Can I just, you know, he's just like right there, man. There we go. First try. All right, boys, we did it. Yes. Free rented karma for everyone who fought in the great fight. We did it. We saved the lands between. Well, Starlight, Star Bright. I wish I may, I wish I might. Uh I didn't make my wish yet. So is it gonna Whoa A red mark was made on the map. No shit. Okay, let's check out this red mark. It is so yeah, this is where it landed. At the Starfall Crater. Well, it's time to consult the, uh, my fellow, my, my, my fellow raider dudes. First, I gotta touch the grace. What's going on, Blyde? Well fought there, old chum. Uh, I know, right? Uh, Holy shit. That was hilarious. Uh, I know. All right. Indeed. Alexander Warrior Jar. Greetings. Oh, you'll, you'll pick yourself back up. You always do. Lesson. Right. Just you wait. <laughs> okay. Cool. Blight and Alexander Warrior Jar. They have assisted me in the fight against Radon. We have put Radon at peace. And that will conclude that fight for the time being. Now, before I spend the runes, I do want to pick up the Radon armor set because it's just so nifty looking. Most excellent. And the power of remembrance. Hey, I'll just grab the great bow. Time for level ups. All right, so I'm just gonna get vigor to 40, and then I want to get some points into endurance afterwards. I just I need I need more increased health. It's good for the long term uh, adventuring. You understand. Okay, now that Radon has been defeated, I think it's time to take on Langdell Capital. Man, this has been quite the productive uh, episode so far. I mean, I attended a festival, we defeated Star Scourge Radon, I consoled Alexander Warrior Jar. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Before, just while I'm in the neighborhood, I should go talk, I should go consult him one more time at his other location. See if I remember the path in to get there. Is it this way? No. Strange as it sounds, I recall going up to start. 
Yeah, so after the Radon fight, Alexander the Warrior Jar will be... Ooh. Oh, I just got my first bow, which was Radon's bow. Well, I mean, while I'm in the neighborhood. I'm over here, dude. All right, so I'm getting a little lag spiky right now. Not sure why. There he is. Let me just make my way over. Oh, hush that bugling. All right. Let's not get too greedy here. Go for some hits where we can. There we go. Ooh, not sure how much damage that would have dealt. Just gotta work on this dude a bit. Sometimes the R1 span just works. There we go. Well fought, dude, well fought. I got another death root, some more tri some tibia summons, and we're good to make our way. Okay, this is the direction I needed to go. But you know, picking up a death root on the way. What's the harm? Is this enough for a level up? Not quite. Now it takes over 20k souls for a level. Boy, we are getting towards the late game for sure. A second. Just gotta there we go. Barrage? <laughs> Maybe it might. Oh, I think that pairs well with the uh, Radon bow I just got. Maybe I could mix in a little ranged combat. I don't know, maybe if I'm feeling kind of spicy. Oh, hey, Golden Seed. Why, thank you. In case you missed it, it's right here. Great. Smithing Stone 5, I will need that for... Actually, I think I need it for this shield up. Actually, I think I'm done upgrading the Brass Shield. Because I need to save the stones for the Eclipse Shield upgrades. I can't quite wield it just yet. But, so the Brass Shield will do for now. Brass Shield at plus 12 is serviceable. I can make it work. And you can too. Oh, it's the Basilisk. Oh, I almost died! I got Death Blighted! Shit. I got, I thought I could get away with it. Wait, do I get debuffed with anything if I get death blighted? I forget. I got an extra icon now. Does that mean anything? I don't believe so. But well, just try again. I mean, it's not like in Dark Souls where you get cursed and you lose half your max health. I think it just, yeah, I think it's just you die. It's just a death effect. Leave a comment below if I'm right about this or not. I legit don't remember the exact details about the death blight mechanic. Mark this first stone. And I... That's right, we don't go this way. Those are the basilisks. Oh, those are my ruins. Let's pick those up. 17k is nothing to sneeze at. That's a little dramatic. Brown's ripping ass. Watch out. Brown is ripping ass. Oh shit, what's this? Okay. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. Fireproof, well, neat. Most excellent timing for the Sight of Grace. Okay. And, yeah. Wait, do these vents go up? Nope, they're just steamy. Right, now I must go this way. Okay, I am for sure going in the correct direction. Well, time for a fight. Uh, what? Wait, hold on. I, for some reason, I could not demount off of Torrent. Stake of America. Okay. That was fucking weird. It's like, was I not pressing up on the D-pad hard enough? Okay, so, mounting on Torrent. Let's, there we go. Why was that? I was trying to do that. If it seemed like I just stood there and took it up the ass, well, I kind of did, but it wasn't intentional.
All right, I gotta deal with this fire lizard. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Just have to position at the correct proximity. Okay, now we can get started. Should I just block that? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. Whoops. Just gotta get closer to his hitbox. That's a struggle I'm noticing about doing the counterattack playstyle. Big enemies doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get their hitbox. It's a little bull. It feels bullshit at times, but that's just the way it is. All right, I think this is just one of those dudes we just wail on. Just get some hits in, and let's wait for him to do a breathy attack. Okay. We got a hemorrhage proc. That's good. Back up a bit when you need to heal. All right, he's going to vomit when he vomits. What you actually want to do is not... You want to do it... You want to, like, kind of try and... I got I to get to safety first. All right, there we go. Recombobulate. Sometimes you want to de-lock so you can get a better position. Yep, so he's gonna vomit. I remember when you could cut bosses' tails off in uh, Dark Souls? I should have just blocked it. I missed the hitbox. Too bad, so sad. But so did he. And we're gonna take advantage of that. Ooh. Heal, heal, heal. Grip and sippy time. Yo, dog. Please don't do this. I am most not interested in... Getting my shit wrecked. Alright, there we go. I did it! And he was such a good fire pupper. New draconic powers available at the Cathedral of the Dragon Communion. <gasps> Neat. Okay. Uh, let me just go. Oh yeah, there's Alexander Warrior Jar. There he is. Greetings. Hi. I do... We just need to talk to him. How you doing, buddy? By the way, this is where I'm located, where he is. You have to start at this, and then you have to make your way sort of up and around, and then you eventually get here. A jar. How did you know I needed this to store my liquids? All right. Yep. Cool. Nice. Okay. We've spoken to Alexander. Now, we can go to the capital royal city. Okay, so I came to this, and now we're going over here. For this is the direction I'm going. I forget, do they shoot ballistics at me? Okay, so we got these giants shooting ballistics at me, so that sort of counts. Whoa. Okay, fellas. I know, I know we've had our disagreements in the past. But if we can just see to reason... Oh, hey, look, uh, a Draconic Tree Sentinel. Isn't there a... I believe it's just a Stake America. But yeah, let's go fight. Let's fight the Tree Man. Got some hits in to start. Ow. You hit my horse, you fuck. 
Yeah, get hemorrhaged. Get hemorrhaged. Okay, he's going into lightning. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta angle that. All right, you know what? Got him. Oh. Remember, don't get greedy. Hold up your block. Eat your peas. Eat your broccoli. And you will defeat the Scrocklead. Draconic Tree Sentinel. And don't forget to replenish those electrolytes. I got 88,000 runes. We should probably spend those... ASAP. I made it to the big city. All my slumming around in the peasant areas, and now I too can become upper class. Ha ha! Ah! Please don't crash. I thought my grain was gonna crash for a minute. I was a little, you know, a little concerned. But that's not the case. Time for some level ups. 40 Vigor and 16 Endurance. Hell yeah. Oh man, look at that health bar. Look how massive that health bar is. It's a juicy health bar. It's so... Mm. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go this way first. Never mind, we're gonna go this way. So I'm, I think I'm getting a pretty solid mix between shield fighting and dodge rolling. Ultimately, as a shield fighter, you want to be on the defensive. You want to go for the block counterattacks, but you may need to dodge here and there. You got to adapt to the uh, move sets of the dudes you're fighting. But now we're at the, the capital royal city, where we're finally getting there. We are getting, as they would say, there. You know, I think putting Radon out of his misery was a nice public surface here at the Lands Between. I'm sure there will be no severe repercussions for us defeating Radon at the Radon Festival. Hey look, a Sight of Grace. Let's tickle it. Uh -huh. I, I think Melina's gonna talk to us here. Oh hi, what's up? So I'm pretty sure my girlfriend just broke up with me, so... Now that I have this additional free time on my hands, I can enjoy even more pleasantries here at the Landell capital city. Most unfortunate that Melina left me, but you know, sometimes these things happen and we go our separate ways. Oh hey look, the buglers have returned. How many runes are you worth? 368? Eh, let's just run past him. How many runes are you worth? Dude, look at their- dude, if you look at their faces... Look at their faces. They've got like people faces, but they don't look like normal people. That that's that that always that was always kind of spooky to me. You know what the face reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of uh Koss from Bloodborne. That weird like fish mollusk creature, but she has a human face. Those are the vibes I'm getting from these bugular dudes right now. Ow. Let me just put you out of your misery there, bud. There we go. Man, we don't fuck around here at the capital city. Man, these beaglers don't know when to stop bugling. Yeah, just in th case things go awry, let's send the lift back up. My father's gonna be so proud of me that I remember to send the lift back up, just as he would have done. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, things are getting a little intense here. Difficulty spikes here next at the uh, Landell Capital Royal City. Oh, hey, what's this? Seedbed curse. Uh, does this do a thing? I'm probably going to ignore it. Cool, I made the jump. I'm so good at parkour. What up, dude? Oh, I couldn't withstand it. But with the power of shield barricade. 
Eh, or maybe you can just, or you can just like get behind and backstab them. That works too. Eh, get Rex, son. Oh my my my, Smithing Stone Four. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh wait. So uh, we're close to the next uh, side of Grace. However, oh cool, I didn't aggro him. Nice. Tickle some Grace. I'm gonna go ahead and fight a little mini boss for your viewing pleasure. Actually, I am most curious. What's, what's the weight? 2.5. I need to increase it 2.5 more times. Got it, got it, got it. I must wield the staff. So if you go along the main road here, eventually... Yeah, this fuck floats down. And then you can engage in combat. Okay, so I blocked most of it, but I couldn't do a counterattack. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get hit to flow him to a false sense of security. We're going to dodge this, take the time to grip and sip. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta dodge attacks. Ow. Oh, I couldn't go for it because I got zipped by the zappies. Ooh, bad time to heal. Ooh, not like this. Could you imagine going through all that just to die to a butt slam? Fuck that shit. And that's how you defeat him. So just do exactly what I did and you too can conquer this Erdtree avatar and get the Lord's Rune. Damn, that was a close call though, holy shit. So with my 80,000 runes, let's level up a bit more. We're gonna put points into Endurance. Okay, so we need 2.5 more. So it's 5.7, so 557.7. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Oh, this is most excellent indeed. Yeah, get that endurance up, son. Now, I can finally equip my carrying glint blade staff. And uh, can we go a bit heavier now? Nope, we can't even do the gloves. Can we do Radon gloves? I'm curious, can we do... No, no, not yet. Not yet. But, fellas, I got fuzzy gloves now, and I can do a magic trick. Swap back to my sword, pump up this, boom, mage tank. And this is just us getting started. Anyways, let's continue. Wait, I need to think for a minute. What, what is it that I need to do again? Yes, we're going to go this way. Ow. You think I would have seen that coming, and I should have, but here's the th Oh. Intelligence isn't really high enough to do a lot of significant damage with it, but, you know, I am learning. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, well. Barricade shield up. Now, there we go. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ooh, these guys mean business. And that's how you do it. That's how you take on three dudes at once. And then, yeah, that guy was just there. Oh, there's a glowy dude. Hmm. Some other time. Currently, 
I'm gonna go down here. There's another site of grace I can hit up. Allegedly. I know there's one sort of around here. Oh, hey, look, it's a... It's a ball sack creature. I don't know what they are, but they, they look like they could be a ball sack. Okay, nothing, nothing to see here. We're going up the dragon's wing. There's another side of grace we can get to. Oh, there's a ladder that goes down that way. Nothing I need down there right now. Get some of that grease. Oh yeah, so uh, when you scale the dragon tail, so that ground level, so about like the, okay, it's kind of hard to see from the map, but where I fought, that ground level down there was where I fought those two knights. You, you scale up the dragon wing and you just kind of go up this way and that's, that's how you go. We rune arc. Dude, I don't pop very many rune arcs. It's more of an insurance thing. Actually, one thing I would like to get is Radon's great rune unlocked. There we go. Stagger damage. Counter attack. Let's go. Oh, what a pure delight this has been. Raspberry jam off the body and all. And here is the Sight of Grace. I'm gonna go ahead and take out this big guy because he does not respawn. And I feel like I have a pretty solid chance at defeating him. So here's what I'm gonna do. We'll activate the glint blade. Yes. How much damage does this do? Not a whole lot. We'll amplify it over time. We'll just pack out his ankles. Oh, I thought that was gonna miss, and I went for the attack. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. He's gonna go for a swippity swoople. Okay, just hold up the shield in case it does land. Okay, that one just went through the block. Yeah, he jumps around a lot. Yeah, I'd like to at least land. Oh, I was like right there. Really? That hitbox? Yeah, always dodge that if you can. One second. Okay, so, let me just get that distraction out of the way. Alright, let's get the last hit in. There we go. Alright, he won't respawn, and that's the last you have to deal with him. And you get the Gargoyle's Halibur, that's pretty neat. And here's a Golden Seed. Yoink. And with that golden seed pickup, we can now add an additional charge to our flasks. This puts us at 13 up plus nine. We are, as they are saying, getting there. Anyways, this has been uh, Kato's Corners and join me next time when we continue making our way through the capital city. And I bid you all a, f a, f a farewell.